Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's been so long since I've done a book haul on this channel and I'm like super excited. Sorry if I'm like looking here and looking there. It's just so weird to be like actually recording myself. It's been so long since I've sat like me in front of a camera and recorded a video about books and I am so excited to be doing this. I'm like so happy to be getting back into books like books was and still is like you know something that I enjoy reading it it's always just something that was able to calm me down and to be back into this um it's amazing it's an amazing feeling to return back to something that you were like so passionate about and obviously in honor of me returning back to my loves my books my babies I did a big book purchase kind of to get me going um I did my room over and as you can see behind me I have some new bookshelves I actually have two I'm leaning you guys on another set of my bookshelves that I have so I have two I have one um behind me it's the Billy bookcases from Ikea I have one in front of me and then I have one that is back by my desk um so yeah I guess I should start with showing you the books that I got. A lot of these books were actually based off of like um, things based off of videos that I saw other people were doing book hauls on and these books just seemed very interesting and I was just like, why not? So let's just jump right into this book haul. Let me first take a sip of my Starbucks drink. <laughs> I think she's done. The first book that I got is The Girl in the Blue Coat by Monica Hesse. Hesse? I really don't know how to pronounce a lot of these authors' names, so I will be butchering them for sure. So this book is about a girl during the Nazi time in 1943. In 1943, um, you know, during the Holocaust, and she is involved in illegal activities. She finds things that are on the black market for customers, and one day she gets a call for a job. She's thinking it's a customer wanting to find a black market good, um, a black market product, meat, something. Turns out um, they want her to find a teenager that vanished from a room, the person was hiding them. I'm assuming the person, the teenager is a Jewish person and they vanished and basically it's going to be the main character's job to find this missing person. So the second book that I got is one Dark Throne by Kendra Blake. This is the sequel in the Three Dark Crowns, I think. Is it? To be honest, I don't know. Um, yes, this is the sequel to Three Dark Crowns, and I'm not going to really say what this book is about because obviously it's a second book, so if you um, haven't read the first book, I don't really want to say what the second book is about because I feel like it might spoil the first book for people. So yeah, you can Google what this book is about, but this is the second book that I got. I have the first one somewhere here yep so now i'm just gonna like put them on the bookshelf together behind me perfect on to the next book so the next set of books i got are the first three books um in the mysterious benedict society by what is this trenton lee stewart that's what they look like so that's the first book the mysterious Bened benedict society the second book is the mysterious benedict society and the prelious journey 
it's cute i like the cover i'm just like looking at the covers it's like you know it's so weird when you buy books and then you're like ready to show them and you're just like looking at the covers again you're just like glad and realize how nice the covers of the books were and this third book is the mysterious benedict society and the prisoner's dilemma um and basically these are kind of like a group of friends going on adventures and you know just discovering things that is going on in their world again i'm sorry if i'm being very like vague about what these books are about um you can always look it up <laughs> and you know find out for yourself if these books are something you would want to read based off of the small details that i'm telling you but basically it's just a group of kids going on an adventure and like i said each book is about a different situation a different journey that they must embark in this next book i am super excited to read um when i put this book in my cart i just like it was just one of those you know when you just find one of those books that you're just like this is the book that i'm gonna thoroughly enjoy reading like i'm excited for it so it is ash princess by laura sebastian look at the cover isn't this beautiful I'm so excited for this. And the main character's name is Theodosia. If you guys watch Alexander Hamilton, um, the play Hamilton, like um, Aaron Burr's daughter was Theodosia. I love that name. It's so cute. So this book is about a princess who basically experienced, unfortunately, her mother dying. The mother was the queen, the fire queen, and her throne basically gets taken away from her by the Krasers. Is it Krasers? Let's see. How do you say these? The Kaisers? The Kaisers? Whatever they are, they take over the throne and basically Theodosia... Is it Theodosia or Theodosia? Theodosia is basically a prisoner in the palace um, and the Kaisers, the Kaisers, whatever they're called, force her to do something we're not sure what it is and basically she loses favor with the people and kind of like loses hope of ever reclaiming her throne but i guess lucky for her and unfortunately for these kaiser people she is very intelligent and her mind is like weapon and she plans to get back her throne so we will see what happens in Ash Princess. This might be the first book that I start reading out of all these books that I got. I'm like, I'm literally reading the synopsis of this book and I'm just like, huh? What is this about? I'm like, I'm, I'm so horrible at this stuff. I need to read more about my books before I purchase them. Okay, so the next book that I got is Heart of Ash by Kim Leggett. Leggett, don't know how to say her last name, but this is the cover of the book. I feel like I have a trend going on with like a lot of the books are very like, I don't wanna say dark, but they, they're very deep. Um, so this book is, I guess, a romance book in a way which is usually not the kind of books that I go for but it has like a dark mysterious element vibe going on here and I felt like it would be a good read so especially because like if you see the back of it where it's like all the praise for the books talking about haunting twisted and darkly romantic I'm sorry yes please I want to read that um so Sorry, my dog is barking. Let's give her a minute to calm down. So this book is about a girl named Ash who escapes a immortal worshipping cult. Is it immortal? Let's look at this. Yep, she escapes an immortal worshipping cult that killed her mother and apparently the love of her life is stuck in this cult. Don't we just hate that? So basically, she has to help the love of her life escape the cult, um, which is going to be difficult for her because the 
her boyfriend Dane or whatever his name is, he gets possessed by one of his ancestors who is very into this cult and she, the Ash, the girlfriend, has to try to um, help him, you know, get rid of the ancestor, whatever it is. And they find that, um, what is it? Oh, the boyfriend, Dane, claims that his bond with his girlfriend, Ash, is stronger than this possession that's overtaking his body. And basically, it's just a love story with dark and twisted cults and blood bonds. Sounds interesting. Why not? It's a pretty cover, too. I like this a lot. The next book I got is When I Am Through With You by Stephanie... Kyun Kyung something. I'm really sorry. I don't know how to pronounce these last names. Um, but yes, this is the book. Look at the cover. I love it. It's along the theme that I'm going for in this book haul. So this book is about a boy named Ben. I'm assuming he is going to be telling us about something that happens um, on a school camping trip to the cliffs. Which already sounds like something bad is going to happen. Um, based off of the synopsis, it says that he is going to tell you about what happened on that school trip and how it ended the way he the and how the school trip ended the way it did. I'm assuming someone's going to die or get thrown like someone's going to get thrown off this cliff that's what i'm gathering because like you can't tell me there's going to be a camping trip and something's gonna happen in the mountain you he's gonna tell us who lives who died who had good intentions who didn't and somehow there's also kind of a love story all tied into this as well so we're gonna find out who gets killed in this book and who did it and why they did it that's going to be a good read. This book is another book by Monica Hesse. It is They Went Left. It's also set in Germany during the Holocaust. Um, and it is about a girl named Zoe Zafia, um, who basically made a promise to her brother that they will find each other. So basically, this is a story of Zafia trying to piece together her life after dealing with the Holocaust. I'm, I think it's after dealing with that. Yeah, so they're trying to piece together their lives and she is on a mission to find her brother and on this journey she meets other people and they are also dealing with um, the effects of what happened during the Holocaust. Um, there's a girl who is searching for her twin um, they were experimented on. Another one wants to move forward with her marriage with her fiance. Um, and then another character named Joseph. Um, he's very guarded. And basically, it's it's going to be one of those books, I'm sure, that you would probably cry because, you know, the Holocaust was not one of those time periods where, you know, it, it's something that's taken lightly it's very like gripping and devastating so i'm sure this will be one of those books that it will shed a few tears when i read it the next book i have is now you see me by lisa layton and laura stropsky stropsky is that stropsky i don't know um the cover is beautiful like i love how it's like a mix a mix match of the different faces to create one face it's really cute. So this book is about two girls who are on a tennis team together. They live two separate lives, but they're not friends. One day, one of the girls, Amelia, is out driving and her car breaks down. Oh, my necklace. Hold on. Does her car break down? Yeah, her car breaks down on the side of a road and a good Samaritan comes to try to help her, but turns out he's not a good Samaritan at tries all. To, he tries to kidnap her, um, but obviously she's a smart girl. She's not going to let herself get kidnapped. She runs into oncoming traffic and gets hit. 
Um, the next thing she knows, she wakes up and she is in Sophia's body, which is her teammate on the tennis team, and her body is in a coma. Now, before she can switch back into her body, she needs to retrace her steps and figure out why this guy was trying to kidnap her. This should be interesting. The next book I got is Wicked Saints by Emily A. Duncan. Look at this cover. Look at the ridged edges on the pages and look on the inside of the book. Like, this is, I love this pattern. So this book is about three characters that are going to cross paths with each other. A war full of sinners and magic and there's going to be a star-crossed lover romance going on in here. Um, so let me just read the three different characters there is. There's a girl named Nadia who hears the whispers of gods in her head, a prince surrounded by desperate suitors and deadly assassins, and a monster hidden behind pale tortured eyes and a smile that cuts like a knife. So I'm excited for this book as well. Look at the town pretty. Ooh, this pile is getting really tall. The next book I have to show you guys is When I Cast Your Shadow by Sarah Porter. This is about a family, twins, a girl and a boy, and their older brother. Their older brother is dead, and I guess he's, ang he's made a lot of people in the dead world really mad, and I guess he has to, I guess, repay them? some way and his only bargaining chip is his siblings that are in the living world and the siblings that are living are just like you died leave us alone please and he is not so he is haunting his younger sister um and she's like wondering well is this yeah she's wondering if the dream that he is invading is like the answers to her prayer or if it's a nightmare and her twin brother is basically trying to find out a way to get the dead brother to leave the sister alone. Um, so this sounds very interesting. I really like it. Um, you know, most stories are usually about like friends and you know, you're you choosing your family. And this book, I feel like it's more so about, you know, the storylines where you don't choose your family, <laughs> you're born into stuff and you know, sometimes your family does some effed up shit. I only have two more books left, guys. I'm sad. <laughs> this next book I got is Lies You Never Told Me by Jennifer Donaldson. So this book is about two characters who have never met each other, but they are both going through similar situations. They're both falling for people they probably shouldn't have. And this is about the story of the consequences of them making their choices and falling for those people. And the domino effect of what this decision is. I guess everyone's about to find out that sometimes you aren't meant to be with certain people, but yeah. I'm going to read the back of it because it sounds interesting. So it says, Elise, the more secret she keeps, the more lies she tells. Gabe, he's haunted by rumors he can't control. Catherine, a fresh start means no more mistakes. And Sasha, she will do anything to get Gabe back. Oh, my name is Sasha. So I'm apparently, I'm a star, I'm a character in this book. I can't wait to read about what I will do. So I hope I'm not a bad character. So this is the book. The last book in this haul, guys. I'm so sad. Blood Will Out by Treg, by Treg, <laughs> by Joe Trigiare. Is that how you say it? Tregiari. Nah, I suck at names, sorry. Um, but it's a cute cover. So this book is about a girl named Ari who wakes up in a cistern by herself alone and afraid. Um, 
she does not know how she gets there she screams and no one can hear her screaming the person who puts her there is coming back for her and now she needs to figure out why this person kidnapped her and why they're basically trying to kill her that is what this book is about <laughs> i'm assuming um she is not the first victim or won't be the last victim and her once quiet town is about to get a whole lot crazier inside here there's a picture of a little knife so i wonder since the title is blood will out are they gonna try to like drain the blood out of her body or something i hope not Hmm. would hate for that to happen to me anyway that is the last book of my haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video and you get um an idea of some books maybe you guys would want to start reading i know i have a lot of books to <laughs> get through i'm actually going to do a reading vlog and try to knock out a few books that i've been meaning to read for the longest time I know on my bookshelf there is just so much books that I have not read which is so bad like don't we all do that though we get like lots of books and then like tell ourselves we're going to read them and we just never get to it but no it's not happening in 2021 2021 is the year that we will read all of the books that we need to so yes you guys will be seeing that video next Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please tell me if you guys have read any of these books and what you guys thought of it because I would love to know what I'm going to be getting myself into when I start like my reading. Um, but I know I'm going to thoroughly enjoy everything. But again, thanks for watching. Bye.